Welcome back to YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna show you more features in Android 12 Beta 2 that I didn't show in my first video. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first thing to show you is the new Google Pay shortcut on the lock screen. When you tap on it, you will get your Google Pay cards in a carousel to scroll through them with a button called Unlock to Pay. When you tap on it, it will show you the keypad to enter your PIN code or you can simply touch the fingerprint and start your payment. You will also see a button here called Show All and when you tap on it, it will take you straight away to the Google Pay app to add more cards if you want to. You will also find three dots at the top right corner. When you tap on them, you will see lock screen settings, but unfortunately, this option doesn't do anything. Even when you unlock your phone, it doesn't take you to the lock screen settings. The second change is in the recent apps screen. Now it will show you a live preview from the app. So for example, I'm gonna play a YouTube video and then take a look here. The video is playing as if I'm in the app, but I cannot control the video from here. It's only a live preview. Even when you go to another app, as you see, the video is still playing. That also works in YouTube music. So let me show you this. That's exactly the same in YouTube music and it even works with games. So here's Temple Run. I'm gonna start a game and go to the recent apps and it works. Next, third party widgets got a new animation. For example, here's a widget for media controls and when I tap on the album thumbnail and then go back to the home screen, as you see, the animation is linked to the widget itself, which is different from the animation you get when you open the app from the icon. So let me show you this again. So that's the difference between the two. This new animation only works with third party widgets. So for example, if you added a native one, you won't see the same. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Next, the phone pop-up now has a smaller and more rounded answer and decline buttons. Next. The system file picker now supports Android 12 adaptive theming. So here I have an email and I'm gonna try to attach a file. And as you see, the background is changing with the device theme, which wasn't the case before. But when you open the files app itself, you won't see the same change. You still get the same white background. Changing the brightness from the quick settings will now dismiss the notification shade like before, which wasn't the case in the first beta. Next. The adaptive theming sometimes doesn't pick the proper color for your quick settings area. As you see here, my wallpaper colors has nothing to do with this pink color. If you are impacted by the same issue, simply go to settings, system, gestures, and then system navigation. Change back and forth between the navigation options. Then you will see they are now different. Last but not least, I got a lot of comments asking if the time lapse for astrophotography feature will be available in Android 12 beta 2. And the quick answer is yes. After updating my Google camera to version 8.2.4, now when I go to settings and then go to advanced, I have the option right here. Tonight, I will start making a video about the feature using my Pixel 4a to show you how it works and how you can get it on your Pixel phone. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the extra features I spotted in Android 12 beta 2. So I hope you like my video. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.